Welcome back to Dark Corner Studios. My name is Aiden Wolf, and today we're going to answer a silly question. Why should you buy one of these? Like, with all the other options out there, why are you spending the money on the Rode PSA 1? This is Aiden Wolf. There's so many options out there if you're thinking about getting a boom arm. So why should you settle on the Rode PSA 1? Well, this is actually a multifaceted question. I'm gonna unbox this kind of unceremoniously and show you what comes in the package. I'm also gonna show you how to set it up. It's pretty simple. And we're gonna talk about why Rode has an excellent product and the reasons why you should support a company like Rode. So this actually happened to me about two months ago, right as we were getting into the whole pandemic phase. Uh, I had my Rode PSA one, actually, one second. This is my old Rode PSA one. Uh, it's broken now, as you can see, it should have more of a spring action going out, but instead it just kind of lays there. Now that's because a spring inside of it just broke one day. Kind of unfortunate. So in the boom arm field, there's a whole bunch of really cheap options like Neewer. There's a couple other brands you can find on Amazon that are really cheap, really uh, decent options. If you want to get going, you just want to start and go and you don't want to spend too much cash. That's a great starter. These ones sit at about the $100 mark American. And there's a reason for that. They are a little bit nicer and have a little bit higher quality to them. And that quality is the springs. Now the springs on a lot of the cheaper brands are on the outside. These ones are actually on the inside, which means they won't resonate quite as much, especially with sound traveling over the springs. But it also means that you get a bit of a quieter uh, use of them. So when you're moving it around, you don't hear it quite as much. Now, Rode also is known to hold a little bit extra weight. It's a little bit better of an experience. However, with that better experience does come a little bit of a higher cost. Let's take a look. This is the Rode arm. Let's get that unpacked. There we go. Pull this out. And as you can see, you even have a nice little caution on there, spring loaded. So you wanna be careful when you open this thing up, it will open up. Let's do that. Me trusty knife again. You might want to hold it while you're cutting this, just, uh, you know. And like that. So there you go. This end goes into your desk or into the holder. And this end holds, a, this end holds the microphone. Pretty straightforward. As I said, you've got all the springs that are inside the metal tubing. And you also have uh, these little areas along the top where you can thread your XLR cable. And you also have little areas you can thread the cable through. So it just kind of minimizes the look of the cable on it, as well as these little ties on here. Tie the cable down so it's not quite as messy, especially if you're doing some video with it. What else is in the box? You get a table clamp. This is perfect for if you don't want to drill a hole in your desk to drop it in. Uh, this can go anywhere. And the great thing about this is I use this. I can mount it anywhere if I want to get some B-roll shots with my camera. And it's just outside of where my hole is drilled for my road arm. And this thing's great. Like it clamps anywhere. Um, and yeah, can't say enough about this. I've used this more than anything. And lastly, this is... My favorite part about this, it's a machined drop-in hole. And what this is, is a nice little flush mount. It looks like that. So this is a little flush mount that you basically drill into your desk. I think it's a one inch hole. And this just drops right into your desk. And you can see nice and shiny road. And it's got this soft inner 
core. So when you're turning the mic, you don't hear it grinding inside of the metal, uh, which is a great option if you're trying to keep it quiet. And you don't want a lot of sounds coming through the microphone. This thing is amazing. I've got three of them now, and I plan on keeping them all because you never want to lose this thing. These things are phenomenal. And just to give you an idea at how nice this is, the OC White that I use. I use an OC White low profile. In order to get this part for the OC White, because of course it's a different size, of course it is, uh, this part costs like 60 bucks from OC White just to drop it into your desk. Uh, so it's nice that Rode includes that with your $100 boom arm. So it's pretty simple. Whichever one you're doing, whether you're using the flush mount or you're using the clamp, you drop the end. You drop the end of the boom arm in there and it's good to go. But that still doesn't answer the question of why you want to buy the Rode PSA-1. Why aren't you just saving money and spending more money on a microphone? Well, I did mention a couple of things before. Uh, yes, you get a quality component. It doesn't make as much noise. It will last longer than the newer or any of the cheaper options. And that's just obviously, you spent more money on it, it's probably gonna have some better quality build to it. However, the big thing, the big reason why you should buy the Rode PSA-1 comes down to customer service. And this is a big tip of the hat to Rode. I wasn't planning on making this video. In fact, this video is kind of silly in my eyes. It's a boom arm. Of course, buy one, enjoy it. However, I had my old boom arm break, like I said, and I called Road saying, hey, y'all, I'm, I'm doing a YouTube channel from my basement. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I can't just go out and return it or anything like that. And it was about two years over its manufacturer's warranty. However, you do expect a boom arm when you spend this amount of money on it to last a little while longer. So I called them and they said, yeah, sure, we'll send you a new one. No questions asked. Okay, well, I'll, where do you want me to send the old one to? Where the broke one? But you know what? Don't even worry about it. Here's your new boom arm, we're shipping it out. Now it took forever because, well, frankly, everything takes forever right now. But I finally did get that new boom arm and free of charge, they handed it over to me and not a single problem. All the emails were very nice. It all started with Road in Australia and it ended with my distributor here in Canada. So why does that matter? Well, at the exact same time that I was looking to replace the boom arm, I was also looking to replace my PreSonus AR8 because it had a couple capacitors blow on the power supply. But all I wanted to do was, even if I had to, let me buy this power supply off you and we can figure something out. To this day, it's been about three months and I haven't heard a single word from PreSonus. They haven't gotten me back to me. Uh, I finally tracked down the distributor just because, you know, things are getting a little less crazy. And the distributor's like, okay, let's see what we can do. However, PreSonus themselves, not a lick of care in the world. And I think that says a lot about a company when, granted, we're in the middle of a very unprecedented time where people might not be at their desk. Um, people might not be able to do their job 100%. However, having a human element on the other end to just say, you know what, we heard you and we're going to see what we can do to figure this out. Funny part is, is my Rode boom arm was further out of warranty than my PreSonus was. My PreSonus was only about three or four months out of its, uh, out of its warranty. So the mark of a good company gains your support every single time. And while I appreciate everything that Rode has done for me, obviously they make decent products. No one can deny that. And while I don't love all of their products, I do have to tip my hat to a company that is willing to go out of their way in the middle of a pandemic to just help somebody out and make sure that they're not without one of their Rode products. Very cool. And yes, you should buy one of these, by the way, uh, guaranteed. Just from the customer service alone, you're going to really like one of these things, especially if you've never had a boom arm before. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm getting out of here. Now, I, I do want to note that, yes, uh, it's been a little bit few and far between for the videos. Uh, between the pandemic as well as moving, if you saw my old like setting up a new studio uh, video from about a month back, uh, it's been a slow slog. We're moving. I'm also renovating. Uh, I'm trying to get the new studio together. Bear with me. 
trust me, this is all coming together. It's only going to be a couple more weeks in this house. Uh, things are getting a little, little dicier to try to get videos done, but I've got a few left in the tank for this house. Don't worry. And uh, I promise we're going to kick things back up when we get into the new studio. I'm going to miss this place. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like it, why don't you get subscribed? Stick along for the ride. See what we can kind of trouble we can get into. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.